What is up you guys? My name is Dan. Welcome back to another video. I have Dublin here in my room. Uh, he's hanging out. We were out planting some things this morning, but this afternoon we're going to be upgrading the PC. Graphics card came in, RAM upgrades. The only bottleneck that's going to be in this computer is going to be the CPU 2700X. It won't quite hold up to the 3070 Ti. But that's okay. I mean, it'll still be a screaming computer. So eventually I'll upgrade that CPU. But for now, we're gonna put a new graphics card and upgrade the RAM. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. All right, so first things first, we're just gonna get this thing out of the box and see how it looks, how awesome it is. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is the, uh, let's see, Gigabyte, uh, what is it? I don't know. It's RTX 3070 Ti, uh, it's the gaming OC. Eight gigs of VRAM, so pretty dope. Should be a huge upgrade from my 970. Wow, fancy, comes with all kinds of little extra things. What's in here? Ooh, register your product for a four year warranty. Epic. And then a graphics guide. All right, cool, but me. <laughs> there we go. Dang, this thing is huge compared to my other card. Get this out of the way. Alright. Hey. I hope this fits in my face. It should. Barely. Holy crap. <laughs> Barely fit in my case. All right, so let's pull this guy out of the bag and see what we're looking at. Dude, this thing is cool. And massive. It has two 8-pin connectors, so perfect. I don't have to run more cables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My 970 only had two 6-pin connectors, and it looks like, yeah, it will fit. It'll just be massive. So anyways, there's that. Put it there. Now the RAM, I have this exact kit in there, so I'm basically just doubling going from 16 gigs to 32 gigs. And so... This should be pretty basic stuff. It's just the uh, G Skill Rip Jaws V DDR4 uh, CL16 at 3600 speed. CL16 191939, but you know, that's all just technical stuff that most people don't care about. So, anyways, it's basically the ex exact same stuff I've been running in there for years. So, we're just going to upgrade it and double the amount of RAM I have. So here's what we're dealing with. This card is so much thicker this way that this wire isn't long enough to make it into the hole. 
and I cable managed it to where it was just the right length for the other card. So now we have to tip it up, go into the back side and clip a few zip ties and give it just a little more length to be able to reach. So that's annoying, but I guess that's how it goes. So we're gonna do that. All right, so this is the cable we're looking at and you can see it comes up and goes down and then comes up and then goes out. So I can literally clip that zip tie and I'll have way more than enough length. Putting the back side of the case on is always super obnoxious just because of how many cables there are. And this case isn't super awesome for holding them all in, so I guess that did it. Let me just screw it in now. That wasn't that bad. I must have done a really good job cable managing this when I upgraded it last. <laughs> I guess a fairly good job. So anyways, there's that. Now, RAM is all we have left to upgrade. All right, let's see. I think these go in this way. And this one over on this side. Man, it's a tight squeeze around that CPU cooler. There we go. Now I just need to push. Oh, I'm knocking my camera down. Okay. I think I gotta click on both sides. So that's 32 gigs of RAM installed and the RTX 3070 Ti. Everything should be plugged in properly. So I guess it's time to put it all back together and plug it in and see if it works. All right, so it's in there. I'm gonna hit the power button and then start mashing delete. Oh, the gigabyte light lights up. Shoot. Is this power cycling? Power cycling, that's, I suppose it could be a good sign. Ooh, F2 or delete to run UEFI setup. Mash delete. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's see, what do we got? What are we working with? We got Ryzen 7 2700X, so it's still picking that up. Uh, total memory, 32768 megabytes, which is 32 gigs. All right, so I got this monitor going. It uh, unplugged itself while I was messing with all the cables, so it wasn't plugged in, but now it is. And this driver finished updating so it's now just preparing the package whatever that means all right you guys time to take these off <laughs> that was upgrading my computer i hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and drop a like hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one